everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider 2 Remastered playthrough. Today we are playing through Opera House. Now again, this is one of the levels that I already played and the files corrupted, so this will be my second playthrough of it, but I don't think I'm gonna be any less amazed or shocked by this level the second time around. I am so excited, so let's just get into it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so high pitched. Between that extremely short slide from the building we blew up down through to the opera house entrance over here. Uh, yeah, it went pitch black. <laughs> But that's okay, because look what they did with the sky! Look at that, it's so beautiful. All the stars and everything. Like, I know I keep saying all the time, the difference. But it's the difference in atmosphere as well. Like, and they added those lights over there. It just all... <sighs> I need to breathe. It all completely enhances the atmosphere here in this game and oh the sky is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay so first things first. We need to get into the opera house which is stop. Stop it. Get him, Lara. Right. Got him. So now we'll just dive into this dark, slightly creepy water, but it's okay. I know there's nothing in it. Okay, pick these uh -huh. up. And now let's go check out a little interesting whoops, Lara got a concussion, um, a little interesting tidbit, since that is my new word now, about Daddy Bartley. That's what I'm going to call him from now on, okay? Just sounds fun. So, here is Poppy. <laughs> this is Gianni Bartley's, I guess, advertisement poster from when he worked in this or well he didn't work in this opera house he owned this opera house but he performed here as a magician i presume just for the laugh because he enjoyed it why not everyone should have a hobby even cult leaders i guess does that say king I, I guess he called himself King. But an interesting fact about this poster is that it's actually a poster of Harry Houdini, the very famous magician. And they basically just added a beard and a mustache onto the Harry Houdini poster and then added Bartley on the top. So yeah, let's get our achievement actually, which is to light a flare by Gianni Bartley. Oh, it's not going to come up because I already did this. Oh, I see. Okay, that's fine. That's like, oh, Jesus. That's a little bit sad. I forgot that once you, like, get an achievement, you can't really undo it. But anyway, yeah, that's an achievement. Take a good gander at Gianni Daddy Bartley. And let's continue. <laughs> it's such a cool little detail. Oh, actually, I didn't switch the... didn't switch the graphics. See, it's so much easier to actually see now. <laughs> Whereas, honestly, I had never even noticed that poster was there until the last time I played this level for my channel and did some research. And also, even if I'd noticed the poster there, I wouldn't have understood that it was Gianni, Marco's dad, and that he used to be a magician. Because that's not, that's not like mentioned in the game at all. So I would have been confused anyway. So, doesn't matter. Um, right, where am I? Mm, I went too high, didn't I? I missed, oh jeez. What is wrong with me? 
I missed the part with the switch that I actually need. <laughs> of course. God, she's so slow when she climbs sideways. <laughs> so to Jesus! Oh my God, this is an absolute flipping disaster. Absolute disaster. Go down lower so I can keep some brain cells. Right. That's helpful. Cool. Oh yeah, and I meant to I meant to say as well that I know there's a sunglasses not a cheat, but like a thing you can do to give her sunglasses. But I'm trying to think of a level where it would look the coolest and make the most sense for her to have sunglasses. I don't want to just randomly have sunglasses, if that makes sense. <gasps> I don't know why I'm so picky about it. So I'm thinking Tibetan foothills. Sunglasses would really work with that outfit. So that's just what I'm thinking, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I always get hit by this crate. Oh. Nothing. Sweet flip all. Uh -huh. And so I do believe that that is the ornate key but it's actually the opera house key i think to get in there so where did you come from because we were literally just on that ledge and there was no uh -huh. one there there is no way he could have climbed up there in time <laughs> oh. enemies everywhere Oh, I love the music in these games so much. So, so much. Okay, so now we have the key to get in. Oh yeah, and I got another achievement here actually. Yeah, I got another achievement. Um, where it was like, destroy all the bees. Which when I first read that achievement, I thought it meant something else. But no, it's just shoot all the windows that have the Bartley bee on them. I think there's just those ones. I think I got the achievement here. Anyway, can't get it again, so... Not sure <laughs> but yeah that's why i think the bartley's own this because they've got their bees on the windows marco is using it now as the cheese so it just makes sense God, they did such an amazing job with the atmosphere the atmosphere in this level is 10 out of 10. it feels so creepy and so dangerous. And you also feel really, really alone, even though you're not. And that moon. That moon is gorgeous. I love the details I added in. I love the sky and look at the orange just around. That kind of shows it's just like the sun has kind of just set. Oh, I love it. And also these kind of details like the lights. You know, they're small things, but as I said, they just really add to the atmosphere of the game. They add to the atmosphere of the opera house as well. 
So, the Opera House is not abandoned, but it is not used as an Opera House anymore. The Opera House, just like the Bartoli Mansion, has fallen into disrepair. Everything's kind of fallen apart. There's lots of things that need to be fixed, all of that. So we obviously have to watch our step. And the Opera House is now being used by Marco as kind of the base of his operations and they use the opera house to store cargo and move things, ship things, uh, I presume to bring supplies to Marco's offshore rig and things like that. What would something like that be called? A logistics center? Transport center? Something like that anyway. That Marco uses it for now. And yeah, this is obviously <laughs> the roof falling apart. But we will use it to get across. I love those lights. I don't know why those lights make me so happy. I love them. Oh my god, look at that view. <gasps> look at that view with the moon and the lights. <sighs> I'm in love. I am in love. Oh, not with you. You can die. The rudeness. Oh! Sorry, doggy. Uh -huh. But again, it's like a it's like a sorry not sorry because they would have bitten me. So I have to admit, this is the only bit of the opera house that I was like a little bit disappointed with because I always thought that this was, in the old graphics, maybe supposed to be glass or something like that, a glass dome. So that's kind of what I was expecting. And then when I came and saw that it was still like just a steel domey roof and it didn't look much different. I was a little bit disappointed but I think that was just me having something in my head and then the geez the reality didn't live up to that if that makes sense. <laughs> Gotches. And we can check out the moon again here. Just look at the, the addition of atmosphere. Here it's just a blank, a blank nothing. And now it's got the sky, the moon, the lights. Oh. It's just, it's just, it's amazing. I can't, I can't speak. Right, so this is always a flipping disaster. I always end up losing most of my life because I, oh geez, I hit the box. I didn't hit the box. Brilliant, in my first playthrough, I lost almost all my life <laughs> doing that. So that's great. I'm Delira with that. Okay. Music is so good. The danger music. Hello? Ah! Did I get him? I think I did. Okay, you've got nothing. That's, oh, how do I get up here? That is not very helpful. And I do know that it's an achievement to get the gold secret uh -huh. now. I do believe, but I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna get it the way that I usually get it. Um, Cause I have like an age old system uh -huh. for playing opera house that I like to stick to so I think I'm just gonna do that and okay this was the funniest thing so when I first dropped down here when I played this I thought that that was like 
a neon disco ball <laughs> with like blue lights on it or something and I was like what the hell is that I thought it had like blue lights on it and it was like a flashing disco ball or something and I was like what the flippin' heck is going on in this opera house? It's it's a chandelier and it is stunning. We'll get a proper look at it later, but yeah, that was my um one of my sillier sillier moments. I have to say. Please tell me I'm not the only one who thought that that was something covered in like blue lights at first. <laughs> Please, someone make me feel less silly. <laughs> I want to unleash the brick balls. I used to always think they were snowballs. Um, in the original. But they're not snowballs. You can clearly see now that they're brick balls. But before, I thought they were snowballs for some reason. Child me never questioned why there would be snowballs inside an opera house. I never, I never got that they were brick balls. I don't know why bricks are making a ball shape as they are typically rectangular, not round. But again, we're not gonna ask questions. It doesn't matter. Absolutely doesn't matter. It's just, oh Jesus. It's just part of the disrepair of the opera house, I guess. There we go. Right. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see this again. <gasps> okay, calm down. Calm down. I need to remember to breathe because when I don't, I get really lightheaded. Who's there? I was like, who's clicking around with their high heels and ruining my vibe? No, I want to unleash that sandbag or it'll squash me later. And... Sorry, doggos. I do feel like I always have to... have to apologize to them. Right, let's just take this guy out first and then we'll have a proper look at the opera house because him clicking around in his high heels is just annoying me. He's click clacking around in there. And he didn't even drop anything. Right. And there's nothing in here. This is a very 90s, 90s carpet, isn't it? Anyway, so let's have a look at this. Oh my god! I know I've already seen it, but I actually forgot how amazing. Oh, because this is one of my favourite levels. Again, atmosphere in the original, 10 out of 10. Atmosphere in this one, you know, it's it's like it's a 20 out of 10. <sighs> Look at it, it's so stunning. Look at the difference. Like, we went from just a plain roof and everything looks a bit dark and simple to this look at that chandelier it is stunning look at the moonlight streaming through the glass dome the dome and i love that they added in that some of the glass is broken because marco clearly doesn't give a shit about anything he owns i wasn't expecting this to like still affect me so much but it really does it is so beautiful and the atmosphere is just amazing it really feels like we are in an abandoned 
opera house and like this opera house would have been you know such a beautiful probably well attended opera house in its prime like you can imagine all the rich people sitting in the balconies and looking down on the stage and everything it's so stunning I can't actually can't get over it oops um, that's not a good place to drop down. I would just shut up. Oh, the view from here is even more stunning. As long as we ignore that goon over there, we can just focus on the stunningness of this. Look at the, look at the difference. Look at the difference. This is insane. It is absolutely insane. I can't, I can't get over it. I can't accept it. It's, it's too much. It's too much for me. It's too much for my brain to comprehend. In a good way. Jeez, do you know, I don't know why I'm using these guns like I've got unlimited ammo. For some reason because I don't have much ammo I've got a grenade launcher I forgot about that but yeah I need to stop using these <laughs> like I've got unlimited cartridges uh -huh. okay oh do you mind you shoot me Can I, oh, can I get him from down here? Mm, I don't think I can get him from here. Right. So this just has more brick balls. For some reason. And there's nothing else. Nothing else in here, just some brick balls. Don't know why. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh my god. Right. Excuse my language. Um, I did not mean to hit my head and almost get squished there. Cool. So, Jesus! Do you flipping mind? Right, that's it. I'm getting him. I'm getting him from the stage. Arsehole. Absolute arsehole. He is going down. Oh! <gasps> My god, that dog's gob was terrifying the way it came at us there. Would you, Lara, would you please point at that fella, please? Well, that took for flipping ever, didn't it? Honest to God, right. Okay. 
I'm excited. Let's do this. Oh, actually, do you know what? I'm going to go over and collect his pickup first. Because otherwise I'll forget. I'll forget that that's there. Do you not have anything? Oh my god. The rudeness. I came over here for nothing. Now I have my really long journey back to the stage. Oh, hang on. Forgot the the pickup that's right here. Uh -huh. Oh! Good. I need those. You've got nothing great. So I'm gonna get rid of this sandbags first so I don't have to worry about them. Then I'm gonna climb up here. Oh, there's no glass here. <sighs> the, what are they called? Ambient sounds as well, that do, do 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 in the background is so atmospheric as well. I absolutely love it. Whoops. Oh, I just about caught that with my heels. Oh, another squeak. I'm sorry. God, they're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. I feel so guilty when I kill them. They're just minding their own business, doing like things that rats do. Okay, and then. Cool. Oh, it's dark. It's dark here. So that sandbag fell and opened the stage door. And I think if we just backflip here, yeah, we, uh, uh, yes, we will land in the flooded basement area, I guess. I don't think this area is supposed to be flooded, so again... I presume this is Marco just not giving a crap about the opera house, not maintaining it at all. Um, oh, sorry, I'm so confused which way I should go. So I'll check out this way first. Oh yeah, this is the way to go first. So we will get the secret. And then we will do this. This under stage area always scared the crap out of me when I was a kid cause it was so dark down here and obviously water as well and it's just a bit creepy you know so I like to just do this bit as fast as I can and then move on
And I always, always used to think when I was a kid as well that this was like a bomb or something. Uh-huh. I know it's not a bomb. What is it? A relay box. But you see, I don't know what a relay box is. So I always just thought that that Lara was picking up a bomb for some reason. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Do you know what? That could have been, that could have been fun. Just saying. As I said, I like when Lara makes things go boom. It's very, very fun. Right, so we use the relay box to fix the lift. And then we can get to more places in the opera house. Whoops. But first, I want to get the secret. So yeah, this is the achievement. Uh, I do believe there is a way to drop down from that outside big metal domey thing through one of the gaps to get the gold secret. Uh -huh. I don't know. I think I described that really badly, but oh well. <laughs> I've never done it before, actually, because I don't know. As I said, I have my system for this game and I kind of just like to stick with it. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely a creature of habit. I'm such a creature of habit. Anything new or different, I'm like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> Is anyone else the same? Does anyone else completely resist change? Like I do. Oh my god, I nearly fell down there. Let's stand back and calm down. <laughs> oh, do these change when the lift moves? No, they probably didn't have the advanced graphics to do that at the time. I guess it's just letting you know that there are uh, three floors, I guess. Probably. Right, I need a- no, I need a shotgun for this. Shotgun's the best. Shotgun's the best, let's go! Gotcha. And this is the- the downstairs from the broken roof we jumped across to get in. Just in case anyone was curious uh -huh. about the level orientation. Uh -huh. I think that's the word you'd use. And so there's absolutely nothing down here. I remember the first time we played this when I was a kid and my whole family got to this point and we were like, what the flipping heck is the point of coming all the way down here? There's nothing here. But they hide the way forward under the lift. Such a Tomb Raider move. You have to send, send the lift back up, of course. And we are again in this flooded basementy part. Uh -huh. to get this circuit board although look I'm no electrician but if a circuit board has been submerged in water for probably a very very long time I don't think that circuit board's gonna work anymore I'm just saying like there is no way there is no way that that circuit board still works. But it's Tomb Raider logic. I'm not going to question it. I'm not going to question it. Oh, would you look at him standing up? He's a little cutie. Oh, that's a bit... That's a bit much now, isn't it? Hang on. Would you stop? Whoop. Okay, he's a cutie, but he actually kind of 
kicked my ass there, didn't he? Or bit my ass, more like. Not impressed with that now, I have to say. Jeez. Right, I actually can't. I can't be jumping up and down shooting them because I'm going to get, I'm going to get motion sick. So I'm going to just have to go up there. I'm going to have to go up there and have a word with them. Do you know what? I'm going to use the grenade launcher. Even though it can affect the kill count, I don't care. I want to make them go boom. Here he comes. I jeez. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, I feel like such a psycho right now, but that is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I'm oh don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna explode the dog. That's that's too far. Absolutely too far. But oh, here's more more B windows. So maybe I got the achievement here. Or there's... Oh, there's more here as well, actually. There. That maybe gave me the achievement. So we have made our way into the opera house dressing room, I guess where everyone would have gotten ready and gotten changed. It's really, really nice being in a room that looks like this. It brings back such good memories for me when I used to be an actor. I always loved um, doing film and camera acting, but there's just a special energy and excitement you get from doing a play stage acting. And when you're all just in the room, getting ready, going over your lines, all of that. They are some of the best memories um, that I have. I, I loved acting. I really, really enjoyed it. Right. So. And I am pretty sure I mentioned this in my last playthrough. But um, in the official strategy guide for this level... They always said at this point, it was something like, be prepared to meet Lara's biggest fan. <laughs> and it's an actual really big fan. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love puns. I love puns. So that always, that always got me. Although I was also like, excuse me, I am Lara's biggest fan. Anyway. Ooh, oh, I almost hit my head there, but I'm okay. Oh, Jesus! Oh my God, that rat flightened the life. Flightened? <laughs> Frightened the life out of me. What is wrong with me right now? I will just say in my defense that I've been feeling a little bit sick and lightheaded today, so I'm just gonna blame it on that. I'm not myself. <laughs> Or maybe I'm just being a little bit too much like myself. <laughs> Absolute madness. Okay. <sighs> that is always way too close for comfort. Way too close. So we need to move this block and do a big hullabaloo just so we can climb back up. Because for some reason there is no way to exit the actor's dressing room. <laughs> I've no idea how they got out onto the stage. Do they have to crawl through the vent? 
Do they have to crawl through the vents and avoid, you know, the swinging blades of death just to get out onto stage to perform? That sounds a bit stressful. They better have been getting paid pretty well for that now, I have to say. Right, because where are... Where are they supposed to go? Even if they got up here. This is blocked off. How did this work? I don't know. I don't want to know. The logic. <laughs> Tomb Raider logic. Okay. So I'm so giddy. <laughs> I love this level so much. I'm so giddy. Oh, flip off. Oh. I almost ran off again. Can't get me. Nothing. I see. I see how it is. It's fine. Don't know why I'm taking the fact that he had nothing so personally. But I am. I have to go back and get this rat because if I don't, the sound of it just really bothers me. Gotcha. Okay. Can't be listening to that squeaking now today. Okay, so pick up, pick up. Oh, here it is. Uh -huh. I'm sad they only had her say aha uh -huh, after every pick up in Tomb Raider 2. I really like it. Let me know in the comments. Do you like Lara's aha uh -huh every time she picks something up or do you find it annoying and you're glad they kind of got rid of it? Because I love going around just going aha. Uh -huh. I don't know why my aha sounded so creepy, but it did. Just did, you know? Okay, so we're climbing back up to this room now. To put the circuit breaker in, or the circuit board, sorry. The waterlogged damaged circuit board and we'll do this cool and it's so cool how the scenery I don't know, what would those be called? The scenery tarp? The scenery cloth? I, I honestly don't know what it's called. But the, the scenery thing in the back there. That it has to, oh for flip sake. That it has to be rolled up for you to get through. I think it's a cool concept in keeping with the idea that this is an opera house and everything but I mean surely to god Lara could have just lifted it aside without using the official pulley thing or like she could have literally just ran through it or kicked through it or something like oh like it's a cool acting themed thing so I like it but also it's just incredibly silly 100% <laughs> Lara could even just like run full force and launched herself at it and ripped through it 
Like this woman is a tank. She could get through that. Right, and as we can see, Jesus! Oh my God, my heart. As we can see, we've got the Yamanera symbols. shooting the dead one yeah we've got Fiamanera symbols hidden behind the stage and we've oh medipack and in behind the stage is kind of a big shipping area or storage area kind of thing where I presume they load up the planes and the boats and different things and like bring supplies to different areas of the business but in particular marco's offshore rig right so um i don't believe there's anything really in here pickups wise we just have to kind of get through it to the other cargo loading area okay Woo. whoops okay so I think that slid the curtain or that slid something across so we could whoa, get out here. Let's take one last look at this stunning opera house. They, they did an amazing job, bravo absolute bravo <laughs> yeah come on then is he able to climb up here I guess not great wasn't it absolutely great he beat the shite out of me <laughs> that's wonderful fantastic yeah let's just take a big one because we've to fight fight this big guy okay i always find this so tricky Oh my god brilliant i did it i'm not even joking i died like 10 times doing this on my first playthrough i look so much better in this playthrough <laughs> gonna get me magnums out whoa Look at him! Look at his muscles! He is an absolute machine! He's a tank! Ooh! Okay. Wasn't expecting him to make that noise when we killed him. Uh -huh. right brilliant um but yeah that is a that is a muscly muscly man i mean i guess he always was again it was just hard to see 
his job is just like professional professional workouter this is the only explanation <gasps> where oh oh would you stop Absolute nonsense. Right. <sighs> Woo! Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> okay. Who the hell has crates suspended from the ceiling that randomly swing, though? It's a bit weird. Anyway, doesn't matter. Out of all the things Marco does, those are the least weird, I'd say. Come on then, you coward. Back and face me. Uh -huh. Okay. I think that's all the goons. So now we just have to sneak onto Marco's plane. And, you know, this is actually. The first time where I actually think I prefer the older graphics like this this looks lovely it's very nice but I prefer the original like I prefer the way you could see all the buildings in the city and it just it really looked like Venice it was gorgeous and now it just kind of looks a bit meh Okay. I don't know. Let me know if that's just me, but I actually prefer the way this looked before. But anyway, doesn't matter. So now Lara is going to sneak onto Marco's plane. We're going to get to see the cutscene and then after the cutscene, we will kind of go over more bits of the story. Let's go. Not quite the same now, is it? Someday you will get a speeding ticket for that ton, Fabio. Hey, it's just a gut feeling that um, maybe you are wrong to look there. <laughs> is your belief so fragile? direction than a simple through and out. Have faith, Fabio. Not God, Rod. We are searching the right place. I know it. I believe it, Marco. Good. Heroes, have you fixed that rail yet? See? Oh. Every time that sound is just awful. 
Right, so that took a little bit over an hour. We got three out of three secrets, 37 out of 37 pickups, and 46 kills. So I'm just gonna watch the next little mini cutscene of us arriving at the offshore rig, and then we'll chat a little bit about the story. Oh, oh, I'm like nervous and scared. This is the start of my least favorite level. amazing I love her eyes her eyes are just gorgeous oh god look at the water I don't like it oh I don't like it at all okay so let's just very quickly go through that cutscene because that is a cutscene that I never understood I must have seen it like 50 times when I was a kid I had no clue what they were talking about. After Lara sneaks onto Marco's plane, she's in the cargo hold area and she overhears Marco talking to the pilot Fabio and Lara starts having a little route around to see what she can find while she's listening to what they're saying. Marco says to Fabio that when he was a young boy, his father, who at that time was the leader of the Fiamanera cult, confessed to young Marco that he possessed an artifact called the Seraph, which would bring them one step closer to their ultimate prize, the Dagger of Xi'an. So as we discussed before, at some point during Gianni Bartoli's trips to China and learning about the Dragon Emperor, he must have learned about the existence of this Dagger of Xi'an and he became obsessed with it, he wanted to acquire it and he learned that he needed this artifact, the Seraph, to be able to get the dagger. So when Marco was a little boy, his father told him that he had finally acquired the Seraph. And Gianni then set off on a journey to Tibet where he would be able to use this seraph. He set off on this journey on his own vessel called the Maria Doria, but this ship was bombed by the Tibetan monks who, as we discussed, are sworn to protect the dagger, keep it safe and stop anybody from getting their hands on it. So after the monks bombed Gianni's boat, the boat along with everyone on board sank to the bottom of the ocean, everyone died including Gianni and the seraph was lost. The seraph went down with the ship. So Marco now knows that he needs to get his hands on this seraph in order to acquire the dagger for himself. But the problem is they didn't know where exactly the Maria Doria went down, so they had no idea where the wreckage was. So Marco established his offshore rig in order to have a base where he could easily search for the wreckage of the Maria Doria because he knows once he finally finds this wreckage, he'll be able to dive down to it and retrieve the Seraph. Marco then reveals that he sees his father Gianni as just a disciple in this grand design, this grand quest. Marco says that Gianni's death plotted a path for the real chosen one to get the dagger of Xi'an and who of course is the real chosen one? Marco. Marco thinks he is the one all along who is special and was destined to find this dagger. His father was merely an instrument to help Marco get the dagger. Lovely way to think about your father, you know? So Marco is now leaving Venice on the plane. As we saw, there's a lot of cargo in the back, so I presume they're bringing supplies and different other things that they need to the offshore rig. But he is heading to the offshore rig to, I guess, check the progress and continue to help in the search for this wreckage of the Maria Doria. And Fabio is a bit doubtful 
that they will find it. And Marco gets really, really mad and punches him. And he tells him that because he's the chosen one, they're destined to find it. And he needs to have faith. And Fabio is like, oh, of course, of course, I believe. I believe you're great. As I said, typical, typical cultish things, you know. So clearly they've been searching for a really long time for this wreckage that Fabio doubts they'll ever find it. He doubts that Marco will ever get his hands on the Seraph. Then, of course, Marco discovers Lara hiding on his plane and the mechanic Eros comes up behind her and knocks her out unconscious with a wrench. That has got to hurt. So they arrive at the offshore rig and when Lara wakes up, she is in a prison cell with no weapons. They've all been taken off her. And so of course we have to escape and get all our weapons back. I am, I'm excited, but mainly I am really scared and nervous to play the next few levels. They're going to be tough to get through, but I will do my best. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you as always to my amazing channel members, Zanir, Rian, Adam Green, Michael, Dealey Boy, Jared, John, Alchemist Days, Alessandro Campos, Mrs. Veronica Cat, Axmania, Miss Blood Rain 6000, David Partington, Shadow Wesker, David Morrison, JJ Dreamer 8, Jade Silcock, Jason Hellman, Hunter McDaniel, Carol Profix, Susie Kwan, CB, Brenda, Adenio, Jen the JJ, Bin Ho, Sam, Josh Wood, Seber 888, Bill Gill, Roy, Jojo, Emerald Raider, Marcos Leandro, Carmen Delash, Alicia Jade, Fisher, Halit, Matthias, Absent with Concept, Christy, Joey Pavelis, John Dreesen, JB, Michael White, Brad Gurr, Saint318, Steve A, Seth Brown, Resi Raider, Lucy H, and Vincula. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. You are all absolutely awesome, and I will see everyone very soon in <laughs> the next level.